everyone and welcome to another bonus video from Rootmaster for Hire. Because we like to bring you some variety in our videos, today we've got something a little bit different for you. You see we're off on a road trip to do some work on a friend's bus. Now normally we prefer to work on other people's buses at our base in Cly and that's because we keep all our tools here and we've got the benefit of using the column lifts if we need to get under the vehicle. But unfortunately on this occasion the bus we're working on today is not movable so we've loaded everything we're going to think we need for the day into Tim's van and we're off to make the short journey to a storage location on the Wirral. Now this is a journey we do on a regular basis because we also store two of our buses here and that's because we've outgrown our workshop in Clyde. We have arrived. So let's get suited and booted. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? Right, we have arrived. We're all suited and booted and ready for work. But before we start picking up any tools, let's just show you around. There's some interesting buses kept here. Now we keep two buses here all the time, just to free up a little bit of space from our unit in Cly. And before I do show you around, the owners of the site, and indeed the other bus owners, have asked me not to reveal the location for this site, purely simply because it's not open to the public. Now this site is a former RAF base, and as you can see, there's some lovely old hangars behind me where we keep the buses. Now, if you do know the location of this site please don't put anything in the comments below but let's have a little look around and on a little journey round you might recognize some of our buses that we're storing here at the moment And this is the bus we've come to work on today. It's a 1981 Bristol VR. Now I know nothing about these buses, but I know a man who does. So as David's already said, this is a 1981 Bristol VR bus with an Eastern Coachworks body. Pretty much the standard double-decker bus for the National Bus Company in the 70s. This was one of many examples of the VR that were bought by Crosville Motor Services in the 70s and 80s. This particular one ran in North Wales up until its withdrawal from Crosville Service in 1991. After its service with Crosville, it went off to a few independent operators around the country and ended up with a company in Stockton on Tees before finally being withdrawn in 2010. Now, after withdrawal, it sat in the company's yard for eight years before being rescued for preservation. Since being rescued for preservation in 2018, various individuals have spent lots of time and money getting it to its present condition. Now, this bus hasn't moved for quite some time, so today, before we can see if we can get it running, we're going to do a full oil change and change the fuel and oil filters. But the big question is, will it start and can we get it running? So, this is a friend's vehicle we're uh, working on today. And uh, the first job we're doing is doing the engine oil change. And we've uh, got some fuel filters to change later on too.
think it might be empty. So this is the uh, second lot of oil we're taking out because we can't get a big enough tub underneath to uh, take it all out in one go. Although there wasn't too much more, so it, <laughs> it might have fitted, but better to play safe. This is where it's uh, it's a much easier job on the lifts. Safely leave that drain in for a minute. Time for some new fresh oil to go back in. Oh, lift it up there. Slowly. Oh, hang on, it's coming out of the bit. Whoa, oh. stop. Fucking hell. Leave that in. Fucking hell. Go on, you can do a bit faster than that. No, it's coming out. Oh, bollocks, yeah, isn't it? Oh 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 oh, 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 This is ridiculous. Bloody hell. What's stopping it? A piece of gauze? There's a gauze that slows the, oh, the filters down. the oil. Going to be all bleeding out at this rate. <laughs> Just doing the oil. We've put about two litres in so far. <laughs> and it's taken about 500 mil. 1.75 of that's on the floor. <laughs> what are you thinking of so far? Give me a root master any day. <laughs> oh, it's coming up again. Jesus Christ, it's a cunt. I've never created so much mess filling a bus up with oil. Look at it. <laughs> so we've put a new oil filter in. We've cleaned this out. And uh, now just to put the lid back on. Go just a little bit too soon. Yeah, I'm worried about burning the starter motor out. That's what it is. <laughs> go again. Keep your finger on here. Yeah. Until yeah. it starts.
So does the sound of this bus then bring back memories of your childhood? It certainly does, David. Does it? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, I went to school for many a year on a VR. <laughs> Would you say these were the buses that got you into buses? One of them, yeah. What were the others? Uh, we had a fleet of Volvo Ailsers running around Wrexham as well. I have no idea what that is. No yeah. idea. They were front engined. Were they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they're the two types that got me into buses in the first place. Got, got me on that slippery slope to owning one. Please, with a hard day's work. Let's get in there. I can get to like one of 
of these buses, you know? I know you thought you'd never hear me say that, but... For a front entrance, rear engine bus that I normally hate, boxes on wheels, I actually quite like this bus. But I think that's because it's from the 80s. Still some more work to do on this bus. We got it running, but it's smoking a lot. But we think that's because the diesel in the tank is very old. So that all needs cleaning out. There's still a lot of work to do to get this into tip top condition, but we'll get there with it. As they say, it's a work in progress. there you have it people we hope you've enjoyed this bonus video if you've enjoyed this episode please share the love and hit that like button oh and if you've not done so already please subscribe we bring you a new video every two weeks on this channel so don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes what do you think of this bus then hs what do you think